on the rod, okay? Good morning guys and welcome to another video. I am here in the Austrian Alps. I'm in a cable car right now, which is super exciting. I'm such a child when it comes to these things, I love it. Uh, so we're going up about 1,500 meters. I've been staying in Erzstown in the valley there. Awesome place, good hub for summer hiking and winter skiing and snowboarding. Uh, just surrounded by the mountains, absolutely loving it here. Just here for a few days, sort of scouting out the region, ready for some future projects. And of course the present day projects. Today I'm heading up into the, the mountains. We got a nice loop that we're gonna do. Um, there's various options, the longest is about six hours. And then there's some slightly shorter ones, which I'm gonna pick today because I had to do some vlogs, some admin, some work for Wild this morning. Um, life on the road doesn't mean work stops. <laughs> uh, so just keeping up to date with that and up to date with the Patreon page and stuff. So um, it's gonna be like 10 by the time I get to the top. So I can't do the longer route today because the last cable car down is at half past four. Um, and if I miss that, then it's a four hour descent by foot. <laughs> So uh, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to do a slightly shorter route, but that's all right, we can make it work. I'll bring you guys along for the adventure. Absolutely pumped, woo! Oh, all right, here we are. I had arrived at the Panorama restaurant at 2,020 meters above sea level. It was easy to see where it got its name with incredible mountain views in every direction, though it felt a little commercialized. So after a quick look around, I headed on to find my path. All right, so you can see from this sign, the Veta Cruz, that's where we're going. Two hours, that's our highest point for today. So we're heading off uphill into mountains. Definitely one of my favorite things to say, heading off uphill into the mountains. <laughs> into the mountains. Oh, mountains. I'm just celebrating the existence of massive lumps of rock today. <laughs> It was a solid track that took me forwards into the mountains, passing the Beifelder Hütte at 2,112 metres above sea level, owned by the German Alpine Club. Yeah, still following the signs. Just coming off the track now, onto a footpath. Really does feel warm in the sun here today. Pretty standard practice in the Alps to start early as the sun moves down the valley. It just means you get a bit of cool time before it starts to get really warm. And then the afternoons generally are thundery, but being strong, I know it's early, early hours so far, but uh, you know, 10 days in the Alps, three days in the Black Forest, walking every day, my legs are really starting to get some of their former strength back pre-lockdown and COVID-19. So, just feels so good to be out here. So you see this red, white, red flag, and then here, white, red. This is the Via Alpina. Now, I have mentioned the Via Alpina in every video that I've filmed here so far in the Alps, because uh, it seems to be everywhere. So basically, it's a uh, network of trails spanning eight mountainous countries. The trails head through the mountains on some of the most insanely stunning footpaths that, in my opinion, are known to mankind. Through the Alps, through the Dolomites, through everything, uh, across the highest peaks, through the deepest valleys, past the widest lakes. Really, really impressive. Morgan. Ah, uh, thank you. Ah, oh, that's a It's not that way, it's this way. Okay. Nice. Such good views. Heading up still. Loving this. Around the corner. And a different view. <laughs> Signpost. You can see we've got a little option here. So, Hoskopf is that way. 15 minutes, that's an additional summit. We're gonna take that one and then we can go round and that's where we'll head up to the Vetacruz 
which is basically that one there. So kind of keen to get the extra peak in. Why not? It's literally just there, 10, 15 minutes if that. Um, and then we'll head on along the ridge up to the next point. So that'll be 2399. Not bad at all, I do have to say. There's the top, just coming into view. Almost there. Here we go then. Two, three, nine, nine. Skidish. All righty, on the move now. Let's get up to 2,500. I'm pretty sure there is a trail that stays high. Yeah, there is, I can see it. All right, let's go. Well, I can't read that, but I know that's and, and I know that's the mountain we're going to. So, <laughs> hopefully it all will be well. <laughs> It felt amazing to be so high amongst the peaks and summits, though the walk was passing very quickly as I made steady progress along the undulations. Nothing seemed to throw me, and I was totally energised by my surroundings. Alrighty, 30 minutes to the top. Highest point for today. Not too bad. Looking back over the peaks we've just climbed, not bad at all. <laughs> it's gonna be good from the top. Pretty stoked. Let's get it done. Wow, look at this. That's pretty spectacular. <laughs> and the sheep. Hey, sheepies. Now, as far as I could tell, these were Alpine Steinschaf, believed to be one of the oldest sheep breeds in the Eastern Alps. They are kept for their wool and meat, and allowed in the summer to graze the high pastures for vegetation management. Whilst I faffed around at the summit, a few shepherds arrived for the annual roundup, having walked into the hills on foot. It was a magical experience, shepherds and sheep and snowy summits all around. It felt as though I had stepped back in time to simpler days free of technology and life filled with social media. Naturally, I sat there for a while, allowing the scene to totally recharge me. not pushing me at all today it's just nice to actually have some time in the mountains I just sat for 50 minutes <laughs> soaking all up which felt awesome um, but yeah time to get moving again now do not want to miss that cable car 45 minutes down 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 all the way down <laughs> trail. Ah, bit of a descent this one i think i just <laughs> my body cooled down whilst i was sat at the top so feeling this a little bit but you can see the heart is verfallen i think is the right word so no longer in use derelict um, when we get there, then I'm pretty sure it's not too big a deal to get back across to the cable car station. We will see. Hmm. 
just trying to work this out a minute. There's a number of trails going to the hutte. I think there's one coming down from there, which is where I would have gone if I'd stayed high, possibly. And we've got a sign up ahead, so let's go have a look at this one. Because I thought we had to go to the hutte in order to get to the cable car station. But this sign may well tell me otherwise. Okay, that is a little bit confusing because it says the hut's is that way and that way. So I'm going to have a look at my map and see if I can figure that out. Not too hard to follow this trail. Just uh, <laughs> stick to the red markers. The path led me along the edge of peaks with stunning views across the valley to my left. I was shocked though at how quickly I had walked and I was almost at the end of the loop, feeling as though I had only just begun. Still, I chose to rest in gratitude for all I had experienced rather than lament the sudden ending to my day's adventure. Man, I'm feeling like a flip coin right now. So it's half past two and I'm basically done. So just head back. Heading back past the hut there. Cable car station's just in front. So that's it really, that's our walk done. Um, reason why I'm feeling a bit unsure is because uh, <laughs> that didn't take anywhere near as long as I expected. Um, I stopped a lot along the route. Um, I reckon if I'd actually walked that, I could have done it in three hours, which is short. And therefore, if I'd known that, I could have done the longer route today. Uh, just trying not to beat myself up because the weather this is the good weather day the next few days are a bit iffy um so not really sure what i'll be able to do but i would like to get back up and do that higher route uh i'm not great with sort of empty afternoons i have plenty of work to do um so i might just sit up here for a bit maybe or just head down to into Earth. i'm not sure yet i'll try and make a plan but the other side of the coin is that we've enjoyed a really beautiful walk today. Um, got some awesome footage, seen some fantastic views, and just generally liked being in the mountain very much indeed. So <laughs> um, I hope you guys have enjoyed the walk as well. It's been good fun, and it's actually a very accessible walk for, for anyone who's new to walking in the mountains. I'd really recommend it. Um, just give yourself the whole day and you can potter about, get some peaks in, enjoy the views, and just generally soak up life in the Alps. It's a, a wonderful, wonderful place to be. So guys, um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this adventure just as much as I have. And until next time, stay wild. I'll see you soon. Bye.